Salmon Stream by Carol Reed Jones. Illustrations by Michael S. Madak. Salmon Stream. This is the stream in the forest. This is the water, clear and cool, that flows in the stream in the forest. This is the deep and shady pool filled with water, clear and cool, that flows in the stream in the forest. This is the nest of rocky gravel far beyond the shady pool filled with water, clear and cool, that flows in the stream in the forest. The egg of a salmon born to travel hides in the nest of rocky gravel far beyond the shady pool filled with water, clear and cool, that flows in the stream in the forest. This is the tiny fish that hatched and has its dinner still attached from the egg of a salmon born to travel that hides in the nest of rocky gravel far beyond the shady pool filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. This is the trout that tried to catch the tiny fish so newly hatched that still has its dinner attached from the egg of a salmon born to travel that hides in the nest of rocky gravel far beyond the shady pool filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. A hovering osprey dived to snatch the wily trout that tried to catch the tiny fish so newly hatched that still that has its dinner still attached from the egg of a salmon born to travel that hides in the nest of rocky gravel far beyond the shady pool filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. These are the spotted fry that grow and wait for a sign they instinctly know. The rains will tell them when to go. They leave the place where the osprey snatched the wily trout that tried to catch the tiny fish so newly hatched that had its dinner still attached from the egg of a salmon born to travel that hides in the nest of rocky gravel far beyond the shed shady pool filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. Traveling down with the current's flow, facing upstream as they go, the smolt past obstacles great and small, gravelly shallows a waterfall through culverts and pipes devised by man down a fish ladder on a dam into an estuary wide. Drifting with the ebbing tide, they reach their saltwater home at last, an ocean indescribably vast. The salmon grow for months in the sea, catching fish and swimming free. Coho salmon, steelhead trout, Chinook salmon, pink salmon, sockeye, chum, and Atlantic salmon. Trying not to become a meal for human, sea lion, orca, or seal until they get the homing urge to gather where river and ocean merge. This is the rain that swells the rivers and sends the message that nature delivers to salmon to send them home to spawn, relentlessly swimming on and on, up the river with the tide past the estuary wide. Up a fish ladder on a dam through culverts and pipes devised by man, obeying the voice of instinct's call, they leap a 10 foot waterfall to reach the place where they were born, 
bruised from the journey, weary and worn. The salmon come home at the end of their lives. They spawn and each little egg that survives will start the cycle over again. With the coming of the rain, the silver smolt will discover the sea and turn to salmon swimming free. And tiny fish will one day hatch with their dinners still attached from the eggs of a salmon born to travel that hide in the nest of rocky gravel far beyond the shady pool filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. The end. <gasps>